When it comes to finding a wife, our sages tell us that it is as difficult as the splitting of the sea, the Red Sea, the Yamsuf, the miracle that we celebrate on the seventh day of Pesach. Now what's the connection between marriage and the splitting of the sea? And why would our sages use that as an example to describe the challenge of finding one's spouse? Well, the mystics tell us that there are two elements in the world, which those two elements exist within ourselves too. There is the world of the dry land, and there is the world of the ocean. The dry land represents that which is revealed and obvious, that which is tangible and logical and straightforward. Whereas the world of the ocean represents that which is deeper, more spiritual, godly, usually hidden. That's our emotions and our feelings and our deeper thoughts that are concealed. The miracle of the splitting of the sea was the opening up of the, of the oceans, the opening up of the waters. That which was normally hidden suddenly became more revealed. That which was spiritual and godly, like our neshama, was suddenly felt. And that's what one needs when it comes to marriage. In order to find one's spouse, one needs to be able to open up, to share one's heart, to share one's emotions and one's feelings with somebody else. And when we're able to do that and share ourselves, the deeper selves, with somebody else, we are, we are then able to marry them, to live with them and build a home and a family together. And that's why the sages compare marriage to the splitting of the sea, the revealing of that which is normally concealed. Let's make sure that our lives are not just governed by that which is logical, straightforward and obvious, but also governed by that which is spiritual, divine and normally concealed. Chag Sameach.